Okay, class, I'm going to do a quick overview of question six from your regular homework. It has a company with two different products producing titanium hubs and sprockets. And the first requirement asks you to calculate the activity rates for the machine setups and the special processing machine setups would be a batch activity. Special processing may also be a batch activity, but it's probably qualified as a product level activity. So when we do any kind of activity calculation of rates, we are going to use division. So it says the machine setup cost pool has been allocated $18,810 So my rate of $18,810 divided by 100, 171 total machine setups would be $110 per machine setup. $110 per machine setup. So I'm going to put that down here in this box. And then I'm going to calculate the special processing the same way. I'm going to take the total cost for special processing, 236500 and divide by the total um, number of machine hours. So you can see if I move my calculator over here divided by 4,300 hours. So it's $55 per machine hour. That was just taking the cost that's been allocated to each of those cost pools and dividing by the total activity. Then on requirement two, return to my question. For the main part chunk of it, I'm just going to type in the given materials and labor cost. So the hubs $35 in direct materials and the sprockets are $18 in direct materials. So hubs $35 given in the problem per unit of material cost. The labor cost is also given in the problem but it's given as an hourly rate. So you're going to have to multiply that hourly rate that you are given by the amount of time it takes to create one unit. So in my problem, it says they're going to pay $14 an hour, but I have to multiply that by 0.7. So I got $9.80 on the hubs. That's per unit. It takes them 0.7 hours to create one unit. So it's not going to, they're not going to pay $14 for one unit. It doesn't take them a whole hour to create one unit. Same thing on your sprockets. You're going to multiply by the amount of time it takes to create one unit. So I had $14. I multiplied by 0.3. So I got $4.20 per unit. We'll go in here. Now on the last part, the overhead cost here has to be multiplied, allocated out. So you're going to use these two rates and you're going to multiply them by this chart here where it says how many machine hours and how many machine setups. So my first rate for my machine setups was $110 per machine setup. So I'm going to take that and multiply by 95 setups. That is part of my calculation. I also have to add to that, I'm going to put this part, um, this next part I'm going to add in where I multiply my rate of $55 times 4,300. So my, machine, my special processing rate was $55 per machine hour. I'm going to multiply that 
by 4,300. All of that cost is going to be allocated. The total you can see there, 236,500 is going to be allocated to the hubs. Now my other rate was 110 and it got multiplied by 95. I have to add to that 236,500. That's the total overhead that will be allocated to the hubs. But I need to divide this by the number of units in the problem. So this is the important part. Divide your overhead by the number of units. My total allocated to the hubs is 246,950. I'm gonna divide by 23,000 units. I got $10 and 74 cents since I have to round up. I'm going to do the same thing. Remember the sprockets. I really have to allocate this ten, uh, $110 on my chart up here. It says that 76 setups will be used on creating sprockets. So I'm going to take the rate of 110 and multiply by 76. Now I'm not going to have to allocate the cost of the special processing because that was all caused by the hubs. So all I had to do was allocate the 110 for the machine setups to the sprockets. So I took the 110 and I multiplied by the number of sprockets right there, that 76. I have to divide this by the number of units, how many sprockets there are. I have 59,000 Do that math again. 110 multiplied by the 76 and I'm going to divide by 59,000 units. So it says it is 0.14 when I round it off. Double check these answers. Make sure they're right check my work. Retire, retire, requirement 2 looks great. Email me if you have questions.